I'm Latoya Burrows and this is your Adventist News, a service of the South Bahamas Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. Coming up in the news, over 100 youth leaders receive a class instruction, Adventist Health Professionals Association chooses new officers, and a new twist on the Global Youth Day. These stories and more on this week's Adventist News. I'm Latoya Burroughs. Thanks for joining us for your Adventist News. The Adventist Certification and Leadership Assessment for Salvation and Service Certification Workshop, referred to as A-Class, was held last week for all youth leaders of our conference in the South Bahamas. The instruction involved over 100 youth leaders who gathered for the three days to complete the 10-hour basic staff training. The A-Class workshop included all areas within the youth department, namely Pathfinders, Adventurers, and Adventist youth. The comprehensive instruction covered the history, mission, and purpose of the Pathfinder program, club programming and planning, youth development and current issues, leadership and mentoring, among other topics. Presenters included Pastor Jamal Franklin, Youth Director of the South Bahamas Conference, Assistant Youth Director Patrick Wilson Jr., other pastors and local Pathfinder Club directors. Graduation for the group of youth leaders will be held on Saturday, February 23rd at the Good News Adventist Church at 4.30 in the afternoon. The youth leaders are asked to be dressed in their full uniforms. This service will also serve as the South Bahamas Conference Youth Ministries Consecration Service. On Sunday, February 17th, under the theme for the year, 2019, Healing Begins with Hope, the Adventist Health Professionals Association of the South Bahamas Conference convened for a time of prayer and reconsecration at the Philadelphia Adventist Church in Elizabeth Estates. Nathlin Lacroix, Health Ministries Director for the Seventh-day Adventist Church in the South Bahamas, reminded the health professionals that they are the hands and feet of Jesus in their communities. Justina Knowles, a registered nurse and member of the Adventist Health Professionals Association, brought an inspiring thought on the theme and told the body of health professionals that they will be able to overcome the obstacles of life if they are focused on Jesus Christ. The newly elected officers for the Adventist Health Professionals Association for 2019 to 2021 are President Rose Cooper, Assistant President Erica Joseph, Financial Officer Donna Moss, Chaplain Prieta Gibbs, Secretary Georgette Bain, Assistant Secretary Agatha Nottage, Public Relations Officer Justina Knowles, Education and Training Officer Dr. Monique Mitchell, Nurse Liaison Officer Sakita Meadows, and Physician Liaison Officer Dr. Alpheus Alec. The Global Youth Day Initiative has taken on a new twist this year. The General Conference of Seventh-day Adventists has a new emphasis where they have included the Children and Adolescents Ministries Department in the day's activities. Global Youth Day 2019 takes place on March the 16th, 2019. That's a Sabbath, and that's an all-day event. Um, uh, this year, there's a twist to Global Youth Day where we are collaborating with the CHAM department from the General Conference all the way down to us. So it's also Global Youth Day and Global Children's Day, and the children and the youth of the Seventh-day Adventist Church will be wearing blue t-shirts representing community solidarity and uh, they will be going into the communities to do acts of kindness. The theme for Global Youth Day 2019, March the 16th, is ADOPT. And this is for total member involvement, total child involvement, total youth involvement, to be actually involved in being the sermon and not just hearing another sermon, but actually being another sermon in the community on that day. So in addition to all of that, um, we're also p collaborating with the Publishing Ministries Department, where on the March, on the evening of March 16, 2019, you'll hear more about that in terms of the route next week. After this short break, we'll have the upcoming events in the South Bahamas Conference. Hi, 
am Andrea Musgrove, and I'm here with my girl, Nikki. And we're here for JAMS, Girls Empowered for Ministry and Service, the junior arm of the Women's Ministries of the South Bahamas Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. And we are so excited. Nikki, what's happening this weekend? You've heard about the Triple A experience, but this energizes the Triple G, the Grow, Glow, and Go event. Yes. This is the relaunch of the whole Gem Experience 2019. This is going to be very exciting. Yes, very exciting. Very hype. In your, you know what the girls say it, right? Give me hype, Nikki. Listen, so um, where is it going to be, Nikki, and what time? It's going to be at the Civil Blinding Hall at the Stapleton Center, located Dolphin Drive, Dolphin Drive at 3 to 5 p.m. this Sunday, February 24th. Yes, this Sunday, and the age is 13 to 25. Yes, I know that's a wide range, and the girls are going to be like, there's some young girls with some older girls, but we're going to have some pull-out sessions, so don't worry, you're going to be covered. Listen, you're going to hear from girls who are growing spiritually and doing great things for Christ. You're going to hear about girls who've done things in the community, I mean some awesome outreach projects, and you're going to see how you can get going for Christ as well, right? Yeah. So listen, Nikki, you've been in in jams for three years how's it been three consecutive years it's been a great experience i've grown as an individual i've grown spiritually emotionally and as a gem god yes yes so. definitely and girls you want to come but listen you got to be registered you can't come if you're not registered check in with your women's ministries leader or your jams coordinator and get down there civil blyden hall dolphin drive three to five this sunday you're gonna do what grow glow and go the jams relaunch event over 100 girls already registered it's all free fun food prizes and surprises it's a jams t-shirt and jeans affair see you there under the theme i choose to live healthy the annual Eight Weeks to Wellness program initiated by the Health Ministries Department of our conference will take place at the H.D. Colburn Gymnatorium on Wolf Road. Registration is only $50 and the program begins February 25th at 6 p.m. and will continue until April 29, 2019. The dates for pre-screening are Thursday, February 21st from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m and Sunday, February 24th, from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Learn about cancer prevention, nutrition, mental and emotional balance. Receive instruction on how to prevent, control, or reverse non-communicable diseases like diabetes, high blood pressure, and cholesterol, stroke, and respiratory diseases. This is a good way to look out for your health don't miss out on this opportunity. Call 341-4021 or 323-0610. Welcome back and thanks for watching our Adventist News. I'm Latoya Burroughs. The Women's Department of our conference will be hosting a GEMS event under the theme Grow, Glow, Go. All young ladies from ages 13 and up are invited to the relaunch on February 24, 2019 at the Sybil Blyden Hall at the Stapleton School on Horseshoe Drive from 3 to 5 p.m. It's a GEMS t-shirt and jeans affair and you may still be able to register. So contact your local church GEMS coordinator or women's ministries leader today. The Eight Weeks to Wellness program is set to begin and the health professionals will provide information on a variety of medical issues including challenges with elevated pressure, glucose, cholesterol, obesity, insomnia, fatigue, heart conditions, cancer prevention, among other non-communicable diseases like diabetes. Be a part of the Eight Weeks to Wellness 2019 under the theme, I Choose to Live Healthy. Join the program for eight fun-filled weeks of exercise, cooking classes, health lectures, health nuggets, and small group coaching sessions. The program begins February 25th at 6 p.m. until April 29th. All participants must be pre-screened. The pre-screening began on Thursday, February 21st and continues on Sunday, February 24th from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. at the former Bahamas Academy Gym on Wolf Road. Weekly sessions will be held on Mondays. Prevention is the key, so be sure to sign up for this plan. For further information on registering, call 323-0610, 341-4021, or 
or by WhatsApp at 826-8486. A Retirees Association general meeting for the South Bahamas Conference will be held at the Philadelphia Church on Thursday, February 28th at 10 a.m. Persons interested in joining are welcomed to attend. For more information on these events and more, visit the conference website at www.southbahamasconference.org, see the weekly logos, or call our headquarters at 242-341-4021. The thyroid is a butterfly-shaped gland found in the front of the neck. A healthy thyroid can be compared to a size that is a bit larger than that of a quarter. Its job is to produce a hormone which regulates growth and development via the rate of metabolism. According to Healthline.com, all cells in the body can be altered negatively if the thyroid is affected negatively. Iodine found in food is taken to the thyroid gland and then converted into thyroid hormones called thyroxine, T4, and triiodothyronine. The thyroid gland function is to allow your heart, brain, muscles, and other organs to work accurately, and it helps to manage your body's temperature. Men are not as likely to attain a thyroid problem as women are. One in eight women will contract a thyroid issue during her lifespan. In the body, thyroid cells are the only cells that can absorb iodine. Maintain a balanced diet and be sure to include foods rich in iodine such as prunes, dried seaweed, baked potato with the skin, cranberries, iodized sea salt, milk, navy beans, tuna, and organic yogurt. This has been Bridget Bastian with your health tips, courtesy of Adventist Television. And remember, God wants us to prosper and be in good health. Let's go now to the Adventist News Network for our news feature from around the world. Right now, communicators and technologists from around the world are in Jordan for the 2019 GAIN Conference. We sat down with members from the Communication Department at the Adventist Church's World Headquarters in Silver Spring to talk about their vision for GAIN. GAIN is a point of convergence. Every year, people from the church come and analyze everything that is happening and try to apply those new technologies to spread the good news of salvation. We have thousands of Adventist communicators who work in radio and television and conferences, unions, and the opportunity they have to come together, rub shoulders together, see what's new is gain. That's where the the personal interactions happen from people from all over the world that are trying to solve the same problems and communicate the mission of the church. We hope and pray that people can be inspired to use new technology to share the gospel. And the main purpose of GAIN is to train, to inspire, to instruct, to motivate. We already have over a hundred regional GAIN conferences. This is when local fields bring together communicators and the people who are interested in using communication for mission. And we hope and pray that all of these assets can be easily accessible to people. So in doing that, the new generations can be inspired and motivated to use technology for the mission of the church. And you can find all of this at gain.adventist.org. That's it for our Adventist news from the South Bahamas Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. We thank you for sharing your news stories and upcoming events with us, and we encourage you to continue by emailing them to sbcadventistnews at gmail.com or by calling our media department at 242-341-4021. For a rebroadcast of the Adventist news, please visit the conference website or on our Facebook page. On behalf of our production team of Adventist Television Channel 658, 
Thank you for watching this week's broadcast. I'm Latoya Burrows for the SBC Media Network. Have a happy Sabbath.